Uh, so the, this is what I would describe as unethical use of AI. Let's talk about one that I'm particularly concerned about. Uh, we're involved in applying AI at massive scale in oil and gas, in utilities, in manufacturing, in logistics, in supply chain, stochastic optimization of supply chain, supply network risk, NA money laundering, uh, cash management, what have you. Uh, the largest commercial application of AI hard stop will be precision health. There's just no question about that. Now, and we're, we're, there's a big project going on in the UK right now, which might be order of 400 million pounds. Okay, there's a billion dollar project going on at the Veterans Administration. And an example of precision medicine would be, it is within the state of the art, we can today, say aggregate the genome sequences, okay, and the healthcare records of the population of the UK or the United States or France or whatever it might be into a unified federated image. And then we can build machine learning models that will predict with very high levels of precision and recall who's going to be diagnosed with what disease in the next five years. Okay, now this is not really disease uh, detection. This is, this is disease prediction. And then we can, this gives us the opportunity to intervene clinically and avoid the diagnosis. I mean, what could go wrong? I mean, this is all motherhood and apple pie, right? We, we, then we, we combine that with, with the cell phone where we can reach previously underserved communities. And in the future, every one of us and every one of these people have, you know, how many devices emitting telemetry? Heart arrhythmia, pulse, uh, blood glucose levels, gut chemistry levels, whatever it may be. We, we have these devices today and we'll have more of them in the future. We're both wearing something that does something like that. And, uh, yeah. and, and so we can, uh, I mean, we, we're gonna be able to provide medical care to largely unserved, so with net net, we have a healthier population. We're delivering more efficacient medicine, AI-assisted, you know, genome-specific medical protocols, et cetera, okay, at a lower cost to a broader population. Now, what could, what could go wrong here? Okay, let's think about it. You know, who cares about pre-existing conditions when we know what you're gonna be diagnosed with again in the next five years, okay? And the idea that that won't be used to set rates, okay, get over it, because it will. Even worse, you know, these systems Okay, the idea, whether it doesn't matter which side of the fence you're on, okay, whether you believe in a single care provider or a quasi free market system like we kind of have in the United States, okay, the idea that either this government entity or this private sector company is going to act beneficially, okay, you can get over that because they're not going to act beneficially, okay? And these systems, absolutely hard stop, will be used to ration healthcare. They will be used in the United States, they'll be used in the UK. They'll be used in the Veterans Administration. And I don't know if you find that disturbing, but I do. Now, we ration healthcare today in perhaps, you know, pretty, pretty, well, yeah. horrible way. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe, ways, maybe yeah. equally as horrible. But I, I think you know, this strikes me as clearly an unethical use of AI.